Right, once again, I'm just going to show you how this part works, and then I'm going to cut it out, because it's obvious. First of all, make Liam grab the beaker, because Remus is too much of a pussy to do it. Make Remus walk over here. Now, when you stand on here, the colors flow. Liam is too um, light to make them flow. These will make the colors flow green, purple, and blue. They'll come out here. Alright. And this will make the colors flow yellow, orange, and red. There is... Now, if you'll see here, it says on the bottom green, middle orange, and top purple. And then a different combination with the same kind of way for the left side. Why? Well, you come over here, and there are statues. Then you just fill them up in the order, and then they drink it when you press the fucking buttons. Yeah. So, anyways, um, I'm just going to skip past this because the solution's kind of off. Alright, let's give the... Alright, now that we're done making these bastard smoothies, drink up, you freaking morons, and open the damn door! Ugh, thank god that shit's over. Ugh. Yeah. There, yeah. Path of Aggression Ranking! Anyways, now it's time to do Leo's story. Freaking jolly. Alright, now let's do Liam's. Da -da. We, and our objective now is to save this guy, because he knows a way out. Uh, out of the flesh-eating forest, so first we're going we're gonna to grab this mushroom cap. Yeah, Remus, move your ass, please. Kind of need to make a little cushion. Alright. Now, this took me a while to figure out, and I think it's incredibly stupid. Not, um, not the way, it's actually a pretty clever way of getting to him, but the, um, the idea behind it is stupid. You don't want this politician roach, by the way, politician lo roaches will lie and say anything to get what they want. But these six bees. Well, actually, the four bees you'll be taking, yes, you actually take the bees and you tie them to that log. It makes like a little air carrier. Yeah, the, these four bees that are simply doing their job and protecting their hive, who have done nothing wrong in their lives, you're going to tie to a chair and never release. Uh, you're going to let four innocent creatures suffer just so one uninnocent creature can go free. I see no logic in this. Liam, you're officially an idiot. Or, as Carlos Van C would say, Right, I'm just gonna cut the left little bit out because, once again, do you really want to see me collecting all of these frickin' bees? Alright, ready to roll. Um, as you can clearly see, after I tied all the bees to the, um, log, I made Rebus's axe. This way I could show the incredibly funny scene I was talking to you about earlier, without um, having to wait till the end and then playing through all of this again to do it. So, Liam, get on your little floaty chair and torment the bees while you save this frickin' politician jerk. And then he actually keeps his word, which is something more shocking than I can believe. Basically says we just need to get through this cave, but we need to solve the puzzle. It's kind of like the one I showed you, except all of the cork pieces are freaking hidden. God damn it. Alright. So, that... That right there was, um, four of them. There are three if you move Liam or Remus over. There's a rock hidden behind Remus. Why would they put that there? It's gonna... If that was intentional, then I'm incredibly pissed. Anyways, this is simply easy. You can see the lines going down. So it's obviously a food chain thing. The owl 
eats both rabbits and snakes. Snakes can usually tend to eat frogs and mice, whereas rabbits have a tendency to eat grass and carrots. Simple. Yeah. So pretty much, uh, yeah, the politician wrote just stuff right off, and now I'm going to show you the incredibly funny scene I was talking about. <laughs> this is so funny. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. See this big monster? See this? BAM! He just hit a giant ass monster in the face with an axe! <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry, but who the hell would ever think to do that? I'm sorry, but if I can get around it without having to wake the damn thing up, <laughs> yeah. Then you just grab one of those mushrooms and put them back to sleep. God damn, that's so funny. <laughs> Seriously, who would do something like that? Now you get this strawberry gelatin mixture and throw it in here. Make it like a bouncy trampoline. And then I had no idea what to do until I just clicked around like an idiot and found out this. That makes me angry. And now Liam just climbs across these pillars. And you have to... This is a pixel hunt, by the way. You have to click on here to throw down the rope. And now, you just going climb up. Yeah, Remus is not nearly as um, talented when it comes to high-wire stuff. Alright. Now it's time to meet the world's most stupidest guard ever. Just watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Right, you talk to a guard... And it's like, hey chief, we need a ride across the lake. Uh, sorry. Come on. Oh, fine. If you can beat me in rock, paper, scissors, that's two out of three. Now watch this. Whatever you pick, right, he's gonna beat you. Right? He wins. He hits the table. Talk to him again. Da da da. Pick the choice. You're not gonna win. He hits the table. Knocks the key on the ground so you can easily take it without him noticing. What an idiot! Anyways, you unlock this box to reveal some fancy robes. And now, I'll show you how to get across. Yeah. Uh, grab the paper, which will now look like parchment. Yeah. And, uh, dip it in some of that gooey wax shit. And then press it against the badge on the cloak. After that, we just walk over to this guy and show him, and they'll give you a ride across the boat. Or, across the lake on the boat. Yeah. So, anyways, um, as I said, I might get out my first movie read today. Either today or tomorrow. Um, anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. And I uh, hope it was helpful. Anyways, this is the Obey Me Kid. Signing off. See you soon. Half of least resistance.